Welcome back. A local woman on a mission to provide a better future for Southsiders while preserving history at the same time. She wants to breathe new life into an old church with a deep history, and she's getting lots of community support in the process. KQ2's Ron Johnson has the story. First Baptist Mountain Union was the church that I was born and raised in. For Brittany Bodges, this old church along King Hill Avenue welcoming people to the south side has always held a special place. I was blessed in that church. I was baptized in that church. Bodges and her family are just some of the many who've made up its congregation over its more than 100 year history. Its impact left heavily in the African American community. It is kind of, in a sense, the mother church. Other African American churches were offshoots of of this one. So it's really the heart of that community. For the past several years, though, it's sat abandoned. But if Bodges has her way, it won't be for long. When I want something, I'm a go-getter and I'm going to go for it. A dream of mine has always been to open my own outreach center. It's a dream she said she's had for a long time. And when she thought of her old church, she saw a great opportunity to improve the community's future while celebrating its past. It's the first thing that you see is these beautiful stained glass windows, the old brick. I felt that it was God's way of telling me this is how you're going to give back to your community. Word of Bajas' story has spread fast and she's received lots of local support, most notably St. Joseph's Landmark Commission, who've officially named the building historical. Preservation planner Kim Schutte said the designation is about recognizing the impact of black people and black culture in St. Joseph. It's always been about 15% of the population going clear back to Joe Rubidoux's time. And yet it's a history that we don't talk very much about, we don't know very much about. I'm pretty passionate about the idea of changing that. Saving this building is a step toward recognizing the history of that community. Ron Johnson, KQ2 News. Baga says she hopes to have the Outreach Center open within two years. She says many have found ways to donate to her cause, and if you would like to do so, we have a link to this on our, on our website at kq2.com.